Alright, everyone. Welcome in. Welcome back. Um, a pretty foggy day here at New Atlantis. Um, well, I'm not as high up as I usually am, but I wanted to share this with everyone. Um, it may have been, or may be, of only a certain particular interest, but I did the best I could in Starfield Shipbuilder with very minimal glitching to rebuild our citizens constellation Andromeda um, it's not the best work it did take me a few hours to figure out um, I'll go over each of the parts but from here got anything you need to offload sure how about it Alright, this is the bad boy right here. Or Connie. Um, very limited. I didn't want to glitch too much. Except for one thing. <clears throat> Excuse me. In the front to stop it from creating a ladder. That's a technique I can go over later. But what I'm going to do is... break this apart and I'm not going to make y'all go through that so we will be right back okay now with that out of the way here is the explosion of everything that's been incorporated into this particular build now it is a class B ship so no, don't expect too much from it um, uh, okay, these companion ways are going to go to heck. Um, that's a mistake I made from earlier because I did a lot of tweaking to this to get this build to be the way I wanted it to be. Um, let's see here. Starting with parts, the Cabo C4 bridge. Uh, I'm going to need one of those from Nova. That's on uh, Titan in Soul System. Uh, new homestead um, speaking of new homestead those parts um, Nova Cowling 2L bottom 4 you remember this one just flipped bottom um, also from Nova gonna need a 1, 2 3, 4, 5, 6 Eight of the Nova Cowling 1L TFs. These guys right here. You can grab when you get them. You can just flip them aft or four. Um, from Nova. Got to make sure there's nothing else. Because I'm. Yeah, it's one, two, three, four. Uh, ten of those Nova Cowling 1L TFs. Oh, excuse me. And one more of the Nova Cowling 2L. EF, right here. This guy. Um, from Nova also. Going to need the NG20 landing gear wide. That's going to go on the back. Our build. Um, as far as Habs go. Um, you're going to need a decent amount. Uh, I mean, you don't have to you can just fill it with a bunch of whole, uh, hulls or whatever. But you'll need Nova Galactic Control Station 2x1. Two, two of those guys. One here. One here. Um, four. Five Nova Galactic Companion Ways. I'm going to need... 2x1 captain's quarters, 2x1B all in one berth, and a workshop 2x1. Should be all of the HABs from all, everything from Nova thus far. Um, moving on to Hope Tech, probably need four. 
of the Hope Tech Hab spines. I use those to try to stop loops and ladders and crap like that. Um, from Hope Tech, you're also going to need the Hope 4 landing bay. And that's it for Hope Tech. Um, well, there's going to be a lot. I'm uh, just saying. The, well, you'll get them like this. The Nova Cowling 1LB. Port out. You need one, two. Go far. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, gonna need eight of those. Four, eight. Oh, 12. So you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, not those. 9, 10, 11, 12. Alright, now the Stroud Cap A. Port 4 top. Remember, you can grab these and flip them in different variants. Need. Eight, 9, 10, 11, 12. Fourteen. Four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. Yep, fourteen. Um, also, from Stroud, you'll need four of the SAE 5660 engines and two Stroud braking engines. And you're going to need a Stroud nose cap B. Um, yep, that's it for that. Now, Deimos. Um, do Deimos wing D's. You're going to need about six of the demos bumpers um, for the demos wing A's or <laughs> four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten of those uh, actually eleven and you're gonna need oh, there's a third a most wing D. You need three wing D's and a bunch of wing A's. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Well, hold on, I gotta recount that one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven of the wing A's. Three of the wing D's. Um, also from Amos, gonna need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, about ten Demos holes. I mean, you can get creative and do something else with it, but now that's up to you. Um, Proud. Oh, I forgot four Aculander eleven landing gears. What else am I missing? A reactor is going to be a 104 DS mag inertial. Uh, grav drive. Helios 400 grav drive class A. Uh, you'll see why once we get around to the build. Um, fuel tank, just one of the 900 THE3 tanks. Uh, dun, 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 dun. Oh, wait. You're going to need a porthole or really you're going to need that and two of these porthole tops um, just one on top and then the other one's going to be flipped bottom but we'll start with the top for now 
crap, I forgot I was running a mod for the shipbuilder menu, so you don't have to pay attention to that. I prefer it, honestly, but that's fine. And since I'm not going into the menu, you won't see it very much. Okay. Now that that mess is over with, we're going to go ahead and drop our hope for landing bay. We're going to plop on our Nova Galactic Workshop 2x1. Right now, Nova Galactic Companionways. We're going to get attached one to the back of our workshop and one on top. Throw that porthole four right on that second Nova Galactic companion, companion way. And while we're here, this NG20 landing gear right on the bottom of that Nova Companion way attached to our workshop. Alright, what else did I do first? This is the second layer. This is the top. Grab another companion way and drop that right on top of our other one where the porthole is. Attach your only one berth B right there. Now grab two demo spines and our control station. I forgot the wings are in the way. All right, so Nova Galactic two by one control station, Hope Tech Hab Spine for account of two. Drop that right there. Now for our next level, grab that reactor right on top of that companion way, if I'm not mistaken. Grab that captain's quarters, pop it right in front of the reactor. I grab two companion ways, put them on either side of captain's quarters. Now our Hope 11 docker, it's attached. Right there. Do this companion way to captain's quarters. Now another control station and two more Hope Tech Hab Spines. Get off of there. Attached right there. Now before I attach this one, I'm going to warn you it's going to put a ladder right here. It drove me nuts because the dang thing just kept looping and looping and looping. So forget that porthole. Grab a porthole top. I'm going to try to put a ladder right here. So we'll put the porthole right on top, remove the hab, and highlight the porthole, duplicate it, flip it, accept. Now when you go to put this back on, it won't let you. So we're just going to use the variant trick. Flip it to infirmary, right on the d-pad, flip it back to control station, left on d-pad, cancel. Now, instead of trying to put this back on, do yourself a favor, delete it, and duplicate the control station up. That'll save you a lot of headache and time. Alright. Before I continue, grab your grab drive. Plop that right here between your cap, your all-in-one berth, and your workshop. Right there. Now that Nova cowling, bottom four, I'm gonna plop that right on our grab drive. So that's gonna sit there underneath all four of these Optech Hab spines. Right. These wings are gonna be in the way. I forget where these were. I think they were here on either side of the companion way and all in one berth. These are going to sit right here. For now. Or 
engines go in here. So these are going to go dead down. What is this thing doing? The builder's giving me hill. That's fine. I'll figure it out later. Now for the uh, D4 Cabo Bridge. I'm move these out of the way. This is going to get attached here and here. Bang. Alright, let's get these moved out of the way. And... Ugh, I have so much crap on here, I'm getting confused. Alright, I'm going to decorate this headpiece right here. Grab all this, and we're going to put that on. Right here. So, our Nova Cowling 1L, 1LB port, going to go right on the top. Delete that, and how I did this initially was just duplicate it, go down a level, and then uh, flip it. This way you have a nice, almost a nice angle there. Same thing over here. Grab this guy, pop it to the other side, delete that. I normally don't get another one, but duplicate it, drop down a level, flip, 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 and accept. Now Stroud Cap A, pop this on top. Forget about the bottom. Ground cap a starboard, put that on the top over there. Forget about those. What I do is I just duplicate, flip, and that's that one. Now on starboard, you now what here? We just put this one on. Just grab it, duplicate, flip, 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 and accept it. Then I'll duplicate it again. Flip, 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 accept. And that's it. Okay. Um, I think I did the bottom first. So I initially didn't start with it this way, but this Stroud cap nose, the Stroud nose cap, is going to get attached to our Nova Galactic Workshop. To kind of give ourselves some coverage over the Hope 4 landing bay. I'll grab four Deimos holes. I did this just to get it out. So it wasn't like hugging the whole body. It didn't look like I was, you know, landing on an egg on the bottom. So those are going to get attached A. To both sides of our Nova Galactic Workshop at these attachment points here and here. So one for one there. Same thing over here. All right. Um, now we're going to continue on with more of the crowd cap 1LB ports. Those are going to get attached to the most holes here. One there. One there. Now, if you don't want to drive yourself crazy, that's fine. I'm going to grab these other two, attach them to the other side. And normally what I do with this, I don't even bother having more than one. Um, what I would do is just take this, get left on the D-pad, flip the variant, drop it down. Then I would copy this because I wanted to put it on the back. Drop it right there in the back. So you have one on either. But this I didn't like, so I flipped it upwards. Alright, so Aculander 11, grab two of those. Those are going to go underneath the Stroud Cowling 1LBs. Same thing over here. 
right? So I'm going to duplicate this. Get left on D-pad. Drop that there. These are going to drive me crazy. Um, because I'm trying to show you. I'm right in the way. Alright, now this. Duplicate it. Flip, flip, flip. And you're good. And duplicate this again. Then hit left on D-pad. Flip the variant. And then... Flip it up. Now I'll go duplicate it down and flip it until the opposite of this one. Let's see. Did I have it the other way? I think. Yeah. I had it this way. This one. Hey. I think that's the way I had it. Nope. I had it right the first time. <laughs> Go figure. Right? I'm just going to double these. This one has to go that way. This one's going to get flipped. Flip. Flip. There it is. Cool. Now we're good. All right. Now to the wait. Yeah, these were up here. All right, fuel tank. We're gonna drop that. Um, if I remember, nope, that goes down one. So it gets attached to um, these two companion ways at the top, underneath our reactor. Oh no, here's our Amos bumper port aft. I'm gonna drop that right here on the bottom um, companion way. Just to add something right there. Same thing on the other side. But screw that. I'm gonna highlight it, duplicate it, flip it, and attach it. Oh yeah. Up one because two it's AE 5660 engines go right underneath the fuel tank. So this is all gonna be like that. Now, cargo. 10T hauler cargo hold. You're gonna need that from Demos. We're dropping that right underneath our engines. that okay something tells me that's too far forward I think these were further back because then yeah these two Deimos bumpers Should go on the front here. There's like another set goes down the bottom. Is then where are they? Here they are. Those Stroud cowlings are gonna sit right there with our Nova cowling one LTF attached right there. The wing. Stroud cap port bottom, Stroud cap 1L port bottom, or 1LB, then our Nova cowling 1L EF. Same thing on this side. Go off and leave it alone. There we go. Okay. I'm not. I'm trying to remember how I did this. <laughs> so bear with me because there's a lot of parts here that are going to drive me up a wall. Okay, Nova uh, Deimos Wing D and Deimos Wing A port aft. Eat this camera. <laughs> Captain's quarters, that's where that was. 
these two are going to sit right here behind our companion way and docker because as you'll notice with the other side there's a Deimos wing A and wing A starboard aft what the heck Yeah, that's how that was. I got that on there. Hmm. Interesting. Because at some point, this goes on here. And then to get that flip effect, I just duplicated, flipped a variant to an aft. And that's how that goes. Right there. That, I'm gonna go on to the other side. Because the more I try to work on this piece by piece, driving me crazy. I'll duplicate, flip the variant, bang. Now that's on. All right, where are the mother demos bumpers? Here they are. These are going to go on the front before I continue. Drive me crazy. These were going to sit on either side of that crowd nose cap B. Same thing over here. Grab that. Done. Okay. Why did I do this this way? And I have engines that are going to go. Oh. I am very, very stupid. Here we go. I'm going to grab these. Okay. These didn't go on yet. Here we go. Engines. are going to get tucked in. I think they were tucked a bit further. Because, um... I don't have any other Deimos hulls, so i shove those in further for the time being. Grab these wings. That's that there. Uh-huh. This is why. Grab a hull. <laughs> Put that behind your engine and your companionway on this side. I think that was sitting back that way. The other hole we need, I hit on myself stupidly. Drop that there. Engine, hole, companionway, docker. Now, our Deimos wing D goes to the hole, and our Deimos wing A port F goes to our engine on this side. That's how that goes. Now, let's see here. All right, almost there. Now, the, the back portion was an afterthought. Um, I was doing the front first. Grab this cargo. Right on the center there. Nova Cowling 1 LTF. Or top four. Right in front of the cargo. And how I normally do this. Highlight, duplicate it, flip it. There you go. Now that's partially covering that Hope Tech Hab spine here. Um, those two wing D's here and here. Grab those. One on one side of the cargo. And one on the other side of the cargo. Alright. So that's front portion. Weapons, I have them exploded here. We'll get to that in a bit. Not quite yet. I light everything. Drag it over. Now, I built this, and I'll tell you why. It's because it's my favorite ship in Star Citizen. Right? Oh, duplicate. Flip. We need two of them here. Um, the Connie, Connie Andromeda. Cuddy Black. 
my two favorite ships. Um, I do have the FC-7S Ghost Hornet, but that's a conversation for another time. All right, going for the back. First thing was two cargo holds. Right on top one. On our captain's quarters up top. The other one covers our reactor. In front of the cargo, Nova Cowling 2L EF. So now that's the bumpers help to cover the hab spine, and so does this Nova Cowling. And this Nova Cowling. As well as the wings and this cowling here helps to cover up some of that metal ugliness. Alright, braking engines I didn't do yet. I wish there was another way to get better ones, but you know, blocky. Grab that shield, Vanguard Bulwark shield, and get that at the uh, ship services vendor in New Atlantis. Drop that on the back cargo hold. Now at the rear, I did a tile cowling aft top, so you all know where to find Tayo. Um, Volai Alpha, Neon Core, and depending on where it drops you, it could be left or right, but look for all red. Go to, uh, Ryujin, take the elevator at the very far back next to the EM weapons vendor. Take that up to Tayo Astro Engineering. As soon as you get off the elevator, hang a right, hang another right, because it'll be right there, right, right. And talk to Veronica Young. Okay, two Deimos holes. I'm gonna grab those. Put them next to the cargo here. Another two Deimos holes. Put them on the other side of the cargo. Now, Nova Cowling 1L, top aft for a count of two. Attach them to the back of the two back Deimos holes. So be that way. All right, Stroud braking engines get attached to the front of the Deimos hulls here. All right, so uh, this was after. So we're gonna grab a Deimos wing A. I'll show you how I do this. Grab this one. Pop it on that side of the braking engines and the Amos hull. I just highlight, press Y to duplicate, flip the variant using left and bang, put that on. Now the other Deimos wing A, flip to starboard, pop that on here, highlight, left on D-pad, bang. Now this I don't like that being that far back. And I think I'll bring it forward a little bit. It just looks. But I can't on this side. I know why I did that now. I can stay there. Um, I think I went over this already. Yeah. Flipping variants and glitch here. Um, Nova Cowling 1 LTF. For a count of two, drop one on the front Amos hull. Now delete the because what I do is highlight it, flip it, it goes on the back Amos hull. I'll just duplicate this, drop it. Doesn't look too bad. It's I mean it's the greatest I could do with you know, Starfield. Um, grab yourself two Nova weapon mounts or Horizon weapon mounts. We're going to attach those to the bottom inside of the Stroud Cape port four bottom, starboard four bottom. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Now for the weapons for that 
I chose the Vanguard Obliterator. Oh my god. Can't zoom in, can't do anything with this dang ship builder. Vanguard Obliterator Auto Projectors. I mean, you could just grab one and do what I do. Grab one, attach it, duplicate it down. The top one, duplicate it, swing it over, and then duplicate it down. Now, I have two more here that are going to go up top on the Nova Cowling 1LTFs. <clears throat> All right, so the Shaco and Eco Railgun for a count of four. Remember, Vanguard Obliterators, I do in counts of six. These Jushaku, since they're max power three, uh, for some reason you can only use four of them. So two of these are going to go on these Deimos Wing Ds. Next to the cargo on top of the cockpit. We're going to have two more. <clears throat> Uh, they're gonna go on these front Amos wings. Same thing over here. Okay, the missiles are a bit tricky. Uh, these two should have equipment plates. Um, where did I put these? God, this... Brr, can't stand the camera on this thing. I think I had... One up here. This one should have an equipment plate I can't see. There it is. Well, two tile equipment plates. Drop these on top of the Stroud Cowling 1LB. Port top and the starboard top, or ST. Uh, let's see, these two missile launchers, one is going to go at this attachment point here between the Stroud, Cal Stroud Cowling 1LB port top and the Cap A port 4 top. Grab the other one, you'll see that attachment point. And so far, this is it. We are at nominal. Um, 64 mobility. That's pretty good for this type of ship in this game. Because if you're playing Star Citizen, Connie is very slow to turn. Or yaw. Or roll. Um, but this is the build. Now, one thing to note is I did not put a um, I didn't try to duplicate the reactor into the cargo hold because even if you put another Nova Galactic companion way up top and try to get to your captain's quarters, it will not let you. The game, the shipbuilder will block it off. Because it doesn't want you to loop around in your... When you get up to that level, you have to come through to here. Go through the top control station, through these two hab spines. Get to your captain's quarters. There's no access through the companion way. Alright. Now, if I cancel out of modifications, yep, we are 100% accurate. No mistakes this time. Um, just for, you know, kicks and giggles. Go ahead here, highlight the whole thing, delete. Cost you about 97,000 
32 credits. That's it. Well, if you're not that rich and using, well, you know. Anyway. Take a little tour of this thing and show you what it's all about. Well, let's get in here. Um, oh, Vasco. Son of a... Let's see if it works or if it's still on right now. If it's not, that's fine. Oh, it is. In there. And I chose that grav drive. Why? Because you can actually jump up here and see what you have so far of the armillary. All the artifacts. Saw someone else do it. I think it was Commander Eagle. Uh, EAG ship shop. Uh, but they had like one hab here, a hab here, a hab here, all with windows. And I was like, yeah, mm, I'll just throw a couple demos wings. And after it was done, I jumped up here and I was like, oh, hello. I no longer have to look through the porthole. I can just stare at it while standing on my ship. Um, I wonder if you could. I mean, yeah, you could sneak. But you get stuck. So you just better off jumping up. Hey, that worked on the other side. What are you all doing to me? Whatever, doesn't matter. I can get up there. I just don't want to waste time. Alright. Um, I didn't show you all the color scheme. That's fine. You can color this however you want. Gray, whatever. Hey, kind of breaking my concentration here. Get off my ship. Brick. Alright, so let's take a little tour through this here. <laughs> Any adventure you can fly away from. Alright, so it loads us Hello, here into our Nova workshop. What's good, Cap? We turn around. Oh yes, I have a mod for Andreja. Uh Privateer Regalia. So, miss stay up late reading under the covers? Did you learn anything new from your book last night? And for I'm Sarah. Don't pretend to be mad at me. Go on pirate. I know you aren't really Alright, so we go into our companion way here. I am using a dark interiors mod. I don't like the brightness of these. Um, you're welcome to use it if you want to. I can link it in the description. If not, um, that's fine too. Um, looking through our clear glass portholes. I can't stand the filthy ones. There's our armillary. And going up. Here's our next companion way. This is going to run us through into our all-in-one berth. B. Because there's one, two, three beds here. I love these dark halves. Absolutely. Now through our two Optech hab spines into our first control station. Now if you look up. You can see into the next control station up there. Now I did this in that trick I showed earlier with the two portholes is because the shipbuilder kept putting a ladder right here. It was driving me up a wall so I chose to block it. Now into our Cabo C4 bridge. Also dark mod or dark mode. Go up. Now the only way to access this is through this Cabo C4 bridge this next level. There's no way through it. Our next control station. Hello. I don't see anybody, but that's okay. Go through these two and you have your could be Docker right here. Yep. And a little storeroom companion way right here. And this is our Captain's go. Oh, I like that red and black. Oh. Alright. So we're going to run through. You by down there yet? No? Okay. Alright. Hop into the captain's seat. Got another mod. Oh, yeah. That's the uh, 
concept art pirate mod because once you install that all the pirates look like that every country member is the black beige brown Off we go. Dang, we're almost at an hour. There's not much time to show off anything. Uh, missiles, no. Particles, yes. Alright, so our chill speed to 18. Seven ninety three, seven ninety five. It's not bad. All right, Serpentis. I'm not talking Mateo about no Unity yet. I want to do the pirate stuff. Quest. Um, one, two, three. One, two, three. Pull three out of shield and put three in grab drive. Down on D-pad, right, and up on D-pad again. If you don't know. Um, if I'm saying things that most of you know, um, that's geared more towards people who might be new or may not know. Oh, oh, 72. Come here, boy. Or girl, whatever. Oh, there's two of you? Want it. Where's the other one? You're done. Thank you very much. Oh, we gotta get closer. Come on now. Ah. Done for. You later. Show off a little bit more. Oh, not skills. Um, hostile activity anywhere? Oh no, nothing. Oh, come on now. Uh, Serpentis 5D. Let's see if anything comes out to play. Good light that I can. Oh, you came to play. Bye bye. Well, that was a decent light. Get you a little view of this here. I mean, not great. It's not bad either. In Starfield. Now the lighting kind of makes it look like a different blue than I... Or grayish blue than I wanted, but... This is she. Oh, and thank y'all for... Oh, stopping by. Almost dropped my controller here. And thank you all for stopping by and checking this out. Um, do let me know what you think in the comments below. Um, and if you truly enjoyed this, drop a like, subscribe. Um, that engagement and whatnot helps. And uh, any improvements or anything you might want to do with this, feel free to go ahead and do it. And I'll catch you all on the next one. Alright, later.